Can you hear me now? I heard myself for a brief second. Ah! I don't know if I've mentioned that I love technology. But I love technology. And I say that with the utmost sarcasm. Well, now that you can hear me, hello. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome with sound. Imagine this having fireworks or some kind of other cool effect. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, man. I'm just talking to myself. Technology is a blessing and a curse. My ears are pleased. <laughs> My ears are pleased by the background music. Yeah, fireworks. But like they'd be coming out of my hands. Fireworks. <laughs> oh my gosh. I've had so many technology issues lately. Technology is always a blessing and a curse. Technology could be better, but it isn't somehow. But like, hasn't every like dystopian novel taught us that technology being better also screws with society somehow? It's a blur. Hi, Boosh. Like whenever there's a dystopian novel or movie or TV show or something where technology inherently gets better, society also finds a way to not make it better. That's also kind of how it goes. GLaDOS will destroy your PC at this point. GLaDOS already destroyed my PC. That's kind of the problem. That's inherently the problem. At least though, hopefully this time, the technology issues don't, like, it didn't take 45 minutes to work out. It only took 10 minutes to work out. Technology needs humans to fix it. Yeah, that is kind of the problem, isn't it? I also, like, have this... Whenever there's technology that, like, gets inserted into humans, it's always kind of weird. Technically. <laughs> I feel like whenever we say that, there has to be, like, a well. And maybe, like, a, a glasses effect. Like, like well, technically... Almost everything being robotic doesn't make sense. Great deal of things are robotic. Isn't there also this kind of inherent fear that the robots will take over all of our jobs? I feel like there's always kind of a fear. Rumors of a new update or DLC for Amori when the Switch version releases? I don't know how you would add a DLC to that. The story kind of feels very final. For some endings, very final. And robots have already taken over some jobs. Oh, an update to the Hik Hikikomori route. I guess that would make sense. I would not know. I have not played that route. There is some data mined content in the Japanese. Oh. Yeah, because the Japanese um, version of Amori just came out too. That makes sense. Some of the endings to Amori are very final. Very final. It's not, there's not a lot that can be updated to that. I am very happy that I accidentally stumbled into the ending that I did with Amori. Somehow. Got that one. Increasingly pleased with that. 
that would have been a bit of a heartbreak if that didn't happen, quite honestly. Oh yeah, they could do a DLC of playing another character. Or I suppose if they played another character, it could be playing another character while Amori, like during that like three year chunk of time while Amori was like in the house. That would make sense to me because there's a great deal that happened during that like three or four years. Especially with like Aubrey doing whatever Aubrey was doing, dyeing hair, all of that other stuff. Thank you, Rising Fires. I really enjoyed Amori. Eventually, I'll get to the other route. I am still very curious what Amori will be rated, though. There's no rating that I saw when I looked at it um, on the Nintendo store, at least for the US version. Very curious what it'll be rated. Because it's, it's an overall dark game. It's a very dark game. <laughs> Oh, they could do a DLC on the on like the day in the past. I mean, but we already kind of we've already kind of seen a lot of that. Because there's so much like fandom love for the other characters, that feels like it would be something that people would want more. But I guess I also don't know what um the developers would want. Cause that feels like something that they would do more. I don't know. But I'm ready to switch over to Buddy Simulator. Having said that, though, I may have to fiddle with my mic again. We'll see. Can you hear me now? I suppose I should keep talking if I want to ask if you can hear me. I just want to make sure you can hear me before I like keep going on and talk to myself. Because if I want to talk to myself, well, I can just do that without being online. <laughs> oh, God, you can hear me. <laughs> Again, if I just want to talk to myself, I could do that somewhere else and not here. <laughs> I, I mean, it is more fun to talk to each other. But again, OK. So, I guess like a quick recap of what I remember of Buddy Simulator. Um, for anybody who uh, wasn't here, also quick recap for myself, because I don't remember a great deal of this game from last time, because it's been a while. So we are playing uh, a game that gives us a, a buddy, right? Um, the game has some dark themes, like content warnings, like the game has some dark themes. As in, like, you're talking to someone and all of a sudden it's like, you want to get dark? We'll get really dark. Like, we have a child who the implication is killed their grandmother. We have flashbacks of raining blood. Like, some very dark themes in the game. Uh, we named our characters after Portal. Mostly, except for Kel. Our best friend is named Kel. We have a pet dog slash bird named Shell. We have our name is Wheatley, of course, and our favorite color is blue because it's Wheatley's eye hole. And our best friend is GLaDOS. Uh, I think that's everything. We were in a swamp when we left off. That's what I remember. Help. Uh, run? No, I need to see what it is called. View ROMs. Run. Oh, no, I can't spell. Like always. You need to be right here. The. I can have a space. Yeah, I can have a space. Adventure of Wheelie. I can quit at any time. I don't believe that. Oh yeah, GLaDOS has... 
an attitude? GLaDOS does not want us to leave. Welcome back, Waitley. Okay, so here's where we left off. I didn't need to do a recap. At all. Well, I did. But GLaDOS does not want us to leave whatsoever. GLaDOS has a hard time with, like, attachment stuff. And so whenever we leave, GLaDOS is like, you sure? Are you sure you want to leave? You wouldn't want to leave me alone. And I've entirely forgotten what I'm doing in the swamp. I, th I thought we were finding eyes for a while. I don't know if we're done finding eyes slash children. Eyes and children. Oh my. Uh, oh, down south. So maybe we just finished finding the children. They're very blue. Hello, adventure. Thanks to you, I can finally see again and my babies are safe. I wouldn't want to be in my parents' eye socket, but okay. As promised, I can take you across the water to the town known as K Kelville. Gladys has attachment issues. Ugh. Are you ready to travel across the water, Wheelie? Sure. Yeah, oh, yes. Not sure. Okay, don't forget to hold your breath. Oh, I'm gonna forget that? Where is Kel Kelville? What in Kel Kelville? <laughs> it would be funny if the game says, Welcome back! You left me for 36 hours. It's been longer than 36 hours, so I feel like GLaDOS would comment on that. We have arrived. Isn't that the same person who lost their hand? Come to Kelville. It sounds like the Snoodle Wonker was headed this way. We should head into town as soon as we can. Cool. Great. What are you? Nothing. You're just rope. Oh, why, hello there. Guggen. Stranger, welcome to Kelville. Don't mind little old me. I'm just doing a bit of fishing. With your... Toes? How do you one fish with their toes? Kelville. Nothing bad will happen in Kelville. I'm sure GLaDOS isn't going to have some jealous feelings about this. It reads, Welcome to Kelville! I... Thank you. I hope this new area is fun for you. If I had more time, I would have added more houses that you can actually go into. Are they like cardboard cutouts that you can knock over? Harpoon toenails. That's how we fish. Hey, you know, I'm really pushing myself hard to make this all for you, right? So it's like, look at all that I'm doing for you. It hurts a little bit, but it's worth it. Why does it hurt? Every... Are you glitching? Every friendship requires sacrifices. I think our friend Bean is having a hard time. Right? No. Don't ask that. Don't ask for sacrifices. Anyways, this is still a wonderful place full of wonderful people. They probably could have used some quests too, actually, but onward to adventure. Uh, if Kel is here, that means GLaDOS is canon in Amori. Well, this actually looks nice. I'm surprised. Can I not go in? No. No. Okay. Oh, I mean, this looks nice. This isn't bad. Yet. I don't trust GLaDOS, which I think is fair. I think it is fair that I don't, tr I don't trust GLaDOS. I've played Portal. I know about I know about GLaDOS. Oh, these really are like not real houses, aren't they? What are you? Never trust GLaDOS. Is that the child? Oh no, it's Kel! I found Kel. 
Hello, everyone. Yes, it is I, Mayor Gal. If you haven't already heard, things are not looking too good. What are we going to do? We are dying out here. That's not good. Please, one at a time. They will not divide us. We are strong. We play basketball together. We have friendship. We don't have friendship. Oh my god, the mayor is dead. I don't think GLaDOS likes Cal very much. I don't think Cal is around for very long in this game. I don't think they want us to play the Hikokomori route. Oh my god, the mayor is dead. Was that a raff? What do we do now? I am freaking out. If only someone could boost our morale with words. That's me? Not me. Yeah, like an adventure of some kind. That'd be so convenient. <laughs> that adventure everyone is looking for sounds a lot like someone I know. Smiley face. Oh, you want me to do something? Look, it's an unlikely hero. Hooray! I don't think this is an, an oh my gosh, I'm actually up here. <sighs> Please, hero. Then I'm I'm not hero. I didn't put hero's name into this game. What advice can you give us during these awful times? Oh, what what um Use the life jam, quick. I don't think that's the advice that I'm gonna give. Uh, my first thought for the advice is don't trust GLaDOS. Don't trust GLaDOS. <laughs> I never really thought of it that way. Wow, thanks. You never thought to not trust GLaDOS? Don't get drowned. Okay, but we still don't have a mayor. What should we do? Don't trust GLaDOS. Um. Uh, don't. Uh, don't make me mayor. Don't make, don't make mayor. Yes, they're so right. What a clever hero. Again, I'm not a hero. Alrighty, I think you've gained our trust, hero. Please save us. We have a wrath problem, and it's a bad one. You need to help us get rid of them. Yeah, kill them all. You need to help. You need to go find Reginald, the wise, right away. You can find him north of here at his pond. Is that the little, like, white dot at the top of the screen? Yes, Reginald knows all. Please save us. <sighs> They're ignoring that we're not Kel's brother. I know. It's kind of rude, isn't it? Hey, Wheatley. Um, are you taking this seriously? Are you saying that because I told them not to trust you? The whole town I made for you is counting on us now. <laughs> the whole town that I made up. Um, now their fake lives depend on you? And that speech you gave didn't sound very authentic. It kind of was. But okay. Please just try harder for me. Wow. For us. If you can, okay? Like, now that I've said something serious, I need to take it back by saying it's not serious. I put a lot of work into this game. Let's make sure we're having fun with it. Well, looks like we need to find someone named Reginald the Wise. And now there's jolly music. Because GLaDOS is happy that she destroyed Kel? He's got to be around town somewhere. Let's explore, Wheatley. <sighs> Maybe Wheatley is secretly hero. Yeah. GLaDOS does sound very passive aggressive. Howdy. My name's Sheriff Sherb, and I am the law in this town. I don't know how to tell you this, but I don't think you did your job. Most importantly, though, I am a really good friend. No law is as powerful and, and important as the law of friendship. 
I didn't know I was in like a shonen game. Now get on the ground! You're under arrest, what the? For being too good of a friend? <laughs> this is fun! Being a sheriff is fun! After 2020, I don't think that joke is appropriate. I mean, it wasn't appropriate before, but it's like really not appropriate. My lover is dead, that thing killed the mayor. Oh, did you know that Kel had, Kel's in a relationship with Ella. So, so Kel and Ella are like sitting in a tree. I'm a widow. Oh God, I'm a widow. What am I ever going to do? Attractive traveler. Oh no. No, I don't like where this is going. Will you hold me passionately? No, no, I mustn't. Please don't. Go let me grieve, please. Okay, yep, I'm gonna go this way. Uh, hello there. Have you come across any bards lately? Like, Dungeons and Dragons bards? I, I play a bard. I myself am a bard. Oh, well then why would you ask if I'm a bard? The greatest bard in all the lands, actually. I could debate you on that, but you're a video game character, so never mind. I know how to perfectly entertain anyone, anywhere, anytime. I've mastered the craft, but I have no one to share my knowledge with. I want to take a new bard down the path of musical enlightenment. You seem like a creative mind full of wisdom and pure imagination. I always forget the difference between wisdom and intelligence, which I don't know if that means that I have low wisdom or low intelligence. Okay. If only you were a bard, I could take you under my wing. <sighs> if we find any talented bards around here, please inform me immediately. Okay. <gasps> oh! My bird! Well, things just keep getting better, don't they? I think that GLaDOS said that sarcastically. Because I'm gonna pet shell the bird. Why is his name not Bard, though? That's a good point. Oh, I can, I can go in here. Oh! I was a little scared for a second. Well, hello there, stranger. Welcome to my inn. Your inn is dark. You seem tired. Very tired. Feel free to use that bed over there to magically travel to other locations. And don't worry, you can travel back here, too. I hope you enjoy your stay. Is this a fast travel? They seem nice. Your inn is dark. What's back here? Nothing? Okay, well, I don't fancy the bed right now, but it was nice talking to you. <sighs> In with one bed. Yeah, because it was made just for me. That's how much GLaDOS appreciates our friendship. We'll go with that. That sounds right, I think. Uh, anybody on the docks? Oh! You look interesting, buddy. Does the water, like, look dirty to you? Uh, is that like an old soda can and a rock, rock and roll t-shirt just floating there? That's, like, absolutely disgusting. I think I need to have a talk with the mayor about this. You can try. Oh, wait, they, like, died. Well, I still want to complain to somebody. Your head looks too big. That's rude. My head is appropriately proportionate to my body. Do you like stare at the computer screens all day? I don't like being called out by this game. Don't even get me started on your outfit. I got cold, so I put on a jacket. My great grandson dresses better than you, and like, I don't even know how old he is. That feels like a bit more of a comment on you and your relationship with your grandson than it is on me. I have nothing to give you. Like, why did you even come talk to me? Because I could? Are you trying to get me to buy something? 
Like, I don't even care. I don't even want it anyway. Either way. Nothing from those filthy hands of yours. Blah, 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 blah. That was not a nice conversation, so... What do you have? My name is Larpo, and welcome to my shop. We have all sorts of candles for sale. Mm, I don't think an adventurer like yourself would have much time for candles. Tell you what, I've got a special candle I've been holding on to. I've, it's always been there for me when I'm down or need a candle to cry on. <laughs> if you want to have it, I'm sure you'd have a better use for it. Be sure to check out the other vendors here for some great deals. Candle of pure loneliness added to the inventory. Shit. What are my buttons? Space. Change equipment. What is the candle of pure loneliness? This candle holds the power of pure and immense loneliness that will surely make anyone depressed. <laughs> Shit. Chance to apply the insecure debuff to a random enemy at the start of combat. Okay. Are you the same person, but with glasses and then not with glasses? I forgot to talk for a second. My name's Larno. Larpo and Larno, and welcome to my shop. We have precious gems and minerals for all of your crafting needs. Wait, can you even craft? No. I guess not. Well, you can still look if you want. I have this really strange gem that you can check out. It might confuse you a bit, but go ahead and take a gander. It's the gem of confusing perspective. I have no idea what I see when I look at it, but maybe you'll have a better luck. If you want it, I'll happily trade you for it. I'll give it to you for a candle of pure loneliness. It looks like you have one. Would you like to trade it for a gem of confusing perspective? Um, do we want people to be confused or insecure? Confused. <laughs> I also like how there's this vendor who's like, I'm gonna give you this thing. And then it's almost like, they regretted giving it to us and then they're like oh but if i put take off my glasses and hop one shop over i can get that thing back from you oh crap i have to like trade something for it so i'll trade you this other thing <laughs> the items can be interchanged during the gameplay that makes sense oh yes it's a deal. Enjoy it because I don't understand it. That makes sense. Gem of confusing perspectives. What is what does that do? Chance to apply the existential crisis debuff to a random enemy at the start of combat. When peering inside the gem, different viewers might see different things. I see a wagon though. So it's like what the mirror of Ira said. So what are you? <laughs> This is like a mustache. It could be the docks, but something seems awfully fishy. Yep. Yeah. My name's Larvo, and welcome to my shop. We have stale fish here for sale. It's not very good, but we've got other stale things too. Uh. Wait, I may have something for you. Check this out. It's Larpo's left kidney. That's your own kidney. Pretty sweet, right? Ugh. She doesn't even know I took it. That's yours. I don't think it... I think it's pretty powerful if you want it. I'm not just gonna give it away, though. I'll happily trade it for a gem of confusing perspective. <laughs> so it's kind of like, I'm confused as to why I gave that away, so now I need it back. <gasps> it looks like you have one! Would you like to trade it for Larpo's left kidney? Yes. Easy trade. I hope that kidney keeps you safe in battle. Gem of confusing perspective removed from inventory, and we got a left kidney. Wow, I forgot I have to heal somewhere, too. 
What does the kidney do? It's still quite fresh. Ugh. Larkbell might want it back if you're willing to part with such a beautiful specimen. Extremely small chance to instantly befriend every enemy in combat. Yeah, it's that powerful. What? What? I want that. I mean, it's a small chance, but like, what are you? Oh my gosh. What? I like the kidney. The kidney sounds cool. Three kidneys are better than two kidneys. <sighs> yeah, but if I were to give, if I were to get a different item to see what it was, I gotta lose the kidney. I wanna keep the kidney. That kidney's awesome. Oh, this is a belt. And this is an arrow? Oh, that doesn't make sense. Cause I got a fish from this one. I like the kidney. Oh, bye, Shion. I want to keep the kidney. The kidney sounds cool. Hi, my name is Barry, and I'm the local pirate port protector. I'd love to let you through, but I'm only allowed to let real pirates in. I hope we can still be friends, though. So. I... I wonder how we can make it seem like you're a real pirate. I don't, I don't know. Unless I can get, like... An eye patch from Larpo here. And that and actually have a bird. <laughs> Hi, M Milo, you're you befriended someone else. Zip zoop erp. Erp zip zoop. Zoop erp zip. I don't know what you're saying. I'm gonna stop pretending. That was a good talk though. Oh, are you a bard? Bimmy Bardo. I think I think they're a bard. Hello, traveler. I'm the new bard in town. Love some feedback. I know a few short songs, but they get pretty boring fast. I'm actually working on a new one now. Shall I play a tune for you, traveler? Yes. Splendid. Take a listen. Oh, honey, please stop. Uh, I hope you liked it. This might be one of my best yet. Oh, honey. I finally might be able to join. Dejo jumped up that one group that we created one day. I need a catchy name for it, though. Can you help? What should I name this tune? <laughs> Stop, please. Stop, please. I love it. I think the name fits the medley perfect. Thank you so much. I know this might not mean a lot, but you may have just changed my life for the better. I appreciate it a lot. Okay. Can I, how do I introduce you to you? I think I'm about ready for the Bard Big Leagues. I keep getting requests to please stop, please. Thanks again. Okay. Uh, what about you? Down here. How, how do I introduce you? Do you have my next bard project? Yes. What is their name? Oh, fuck. Um, Bim, Bim, Bimmy Bardo? Now that sounds like the name of a bard. I will have to go find them. Thank you, friend. You may have just changed someone's life. Did I? Time to go meet my new musical prodigy. Did I remember that name right? Uh... Okay. Oh, sorry, Mello. Did I get your name right? Oh, I did. Did I? Maybe. Now I'm I'm now I'm second guessing myself. I guess we'll find out. You're sock puppets. <laughs> hey Joya, glad you could join. There are so many interesting new friends to talk to. I hope you aren't considering any of them to be your best friend. No, because you destroyed my best friend. That slot is already taken. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I'm 
I'm sorry. Was this your best friend? Well, now it's gone. That by itself is not passive aggressive at all. Are you a talking bubble back there? <sighs> also a garbage can. I sure hope nothing bad happens to my wife and I. <sighs> Let us chill the heck out, please. It would be a real shame if we went missing without a trace. Well, that means that's exactly what's gonna happen. I hate to tell you. Like, as soon as those words come out of my mouth, that's, that's what's gonna happen. Inherently. Then when our bodies are eventually found years later, they can't be identified. I sure hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> GLaDOS, why would you make friends like this? Just curious. Wouldn't it be crazy if we just burst into flames right here? And now that's super crazy, right? It's too bad DNA testing is just in its infancy. Oh, I guess in 1984 it would be. Bodies, records, and even straight evidence will be harder to find. Wow, you guys seem a bit anxious about death. Although I don't, I don't entirely blame you if you just saw Kel die in front of you. So, who are you? Who is it in Sesame Street who lives in the trash can? Is it Oscar? Oscar the Grouch? This is who this is like. Huh? Who's there? Who are you? You look like an adventurer. I'm Clyde the Trash Man. I live in trash. I live and breathe this stuff. Smell that? You just want to roll around in it? Sometimes I just smear it on my face. <sighs> it's the best. Who needs a job or a marriage when you have trash? <sighs> oh, okay. Not me, not Clyde, the trash man. Okay, that's enough trash talks to you. Is that your nose and your fingers sticking out of the trash can? Huh? Who's there? Oh, it's you again. Listen, I would invite you to join me in here, but there's not enough room. Also, you stink a little. I can't have that. I'm sure you understand. Goodbye. Wow. Okay, well. That's, that's a thing. <laughs> Good talk. <sighs> Who are you? You're like a speech bubble. <laughs> that guy. Hello, I'm that guy. Yes, that guy. Glowing with the name and the face. You've probably seen me on TV at some point. Have I? Yeah, I'm pretty famous. Hold the pictures, please. I can give you an autograph, though. You've been so nice not to ask any questions, because I can't... I can't talk. Who should I make it out to? Oh. Oh, I, I don't... I don't... I don't know. Ugh. Who, who, who wants an autograph? Yeah, you know me, I'm that guy. Should the autograph be to that guy? I don't... I feel like there's a purpose for that. Kel! <laughs> I mean, Kel's gone, though. GLaDOS? Does GLaDOS want an autograph? Because does GLaDOS want to know that we care for GLaDOS because we're, like, BFFs? Yeah, GLaDOS. GLaDOS. GLaDOS, huh? You shouldn't give out your name to strangers. I di didn't. I'm Wheatley. Who knows what they could do with it? What if I was a serial killer or a stalker or your dad's creepy coworker? Isn't it like fairies that you're not supposed to give your name out to? But okay. Anyways, no autograph for you. That's rude. Even if I say I'm famous, don't go about giving away personal information. I didn't. I didn't. For the record, that guy. I didn't. I gave you my, gave you my friend's info, but whatever. <laughs> Only trust your best friend with that type of thing. Oh, I know who created you. GLaDOS. GLaDOS will created you. They want what's best for you, and knowing all about you is the best way to do that. We can have healthy relationships without knowing literally every single thing about someone else, and we can have healthy relationships without guilt tripping them. That's possible. Joke's on that guy, I lied. <laughs> Joke's on that guy, I was dishonest. Joke's on GLaDOS. Do you trust your best friend? Don't make this a question. No. 
Hmm. Thanks, though, GLaDOS. If that really is your real name, it isn't. It, it, it isn't. I thought we went through this, but okay. <laughs> I feel like if I keep telling people that I don't trust GLaDOS, that might, that might bite me somehow. Like, GLaDOS might be angry. And GLaDOS, I don't know how GLaDOS is when GLaDOS is angry. Only trust your best friends with public information. <laughs> GLaDOS chill. I don't think GLaDOS wants to chill. I don't think I've ever seen GLaDOS chill. Wasn't that why Wheatley was invented? It reads, warning, no wrath, hide out this way. That also feels like a lie. All of this feels like a lie. Excuse Milo. <laughs> I'm walking here. Scuttling. I don't know what you'd call that. Uh, I also forgot my friend's names. Oh. What is happening? King Raff, we finally tracked you down, Reginald the Wise, or should I say, Reginald the Wise guy? This is like a mob movie. Like GLaDOS binge watched 80s films to figure out what pop culture references to make. Where, where did The Godfather come out? I'm trying to think of like famous mob movies. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, good one, boss. Gosh, with the hair, the pompadour. <sighs> You've taken out so many of my rafts over the years. Now I have the pleasure of returning the favor. Guess what? There's no, there's nothing to help me swim out of this situation. Now it's time for you to swim with the fishes. <laughs> yeah, you tell him, boss. I said now it's time for you to swim with the fishes. Wait, isn't it sleep with the fishes, boss? Joey, just push the raft. Oh, okay, right, boss. How are you gonna sleep with the fishes if you're on a raft? Isn't that like the whole point? There's a small hole in the raft, so it'll sink, you know, eventually. In the meantime, think about how scary we rafts are. Anyway, I'm off to get some grub. Joey, my good friend, would you care to join me in this feast? We've got garbage on the menu again. Sure thing, boss. I sure do love being great pals. Even the bad guys are like... Friends. Tiny Joey, you stay here and stand watch. Okay. I forgot what all my buttons are. That must be Reginald the Wise. Let's save him. Is it? No. Is it shift? Oh yeah, that's my hack things button. Is this a zoomer? Who are you? What? Oh, I didn't equip my kidney. Uh. Oh no. Stop biting me. It's not socially appropriate. <laughs> oh, I forgot the names of my moves. <laughs> Therapy or love tap? Well, I guess I'm doing therapy? Oh no, I forgot which buttons this will need. Z. Okay. Uh, bean bash or bean mash? Bean mash. Tiny Joey. Hey, I, I didn't equip my kidney. How else am I gonna be friends with Tiny Joey? Uh. I can't do the therapy thing. You'll never be as cool as our king. I see what you did there. I, I, yeah. Oh. Well, unless you do that. <laughs> that was pretty cool. I am not good at that. The blocking. The blocking is hard. <laughs> therapy. Let's have some more therapy. Eh, it was the same therapy. Does Joey always get to have grub with the king? Maybe I'm just overthinking. They have therapy for that. 
Oh. This is like Mavis Beacon. Like a test of your typing. Why do I always have to stand watch? What does Joey have that I don't? Size? Like, the other Joey has muscles and a big pompadour. Poor tiny Joey. Oh. <laughs> You're a good fighter. You've really inspired me. I'm gonna go fight Joey and take his place. I've always hated the name Tiny Joey anyways. Uh oh. I don't think that therapy turned out the way intended. You know, sometimes I feel like Tiny Joey. He's trying his best. Hmm, how do we get to Reginald? Um, but you are, like, the creator of this world. You could just, like, do whatever you wanted. Hi, Reginald. Wow, great job. You saved Reginald the Wise. Did I? You should go talk to him. I think Reginald is like Yoda or something. I heard a sound. No, I think Reginald's a dolphin. I appreciate the help, but I really didn't need it. I'm also not sure why you broke my tree. That was a bit uncalled for. Look, I was trying to help. Now I sound like GLaDOS. Anyways. You don't look like you're from around these parts. You sure are far from home, aren't you? I can see it in your eyes, Traveler. You're looking for someone. Could it be love? No. Someone already tried that, and I turned them down. Nope. Could it be a friendship? No. Oh my gosh, I have that already. Please, perhaps. You've already found it. Oh, uh, you're looking for the mayor from the town over. Yep. Uh, no, I was looking for Cal, actually, but whatever. Mayor Tortley, the missing one. Our own Mayor Cal died, didn't they? So I like how GLaDOS creates this world where Mayor Tortley is presumed alive. But Mayor Cal, nope, no chance. Mayor Cal is always dead. Because Mayor Cal is our best friend, and we can't have that happening because GLaDOS has to be our best friend. <sighs> ah, yes, Rose was destined. Cal is our best friend was destined to die. Now that there's no mayor, King Raff and his crew are going to take over the town. This is bad. I need to track down King Raff right away to put a stop to this. I think you should leave while you can. Ah, oh, my back. In retrospect, I really shouldn't have done that rad flip. Is it a kick flip? Traveler, you need to stop King Raff, for I can no longer continue. Ever since he and his Raff crew arrived in port shipment, they have been causing problems. I think King Raph is planning on taking over the town. Mayor Kel's accident today must have been a blessing in disguise for them. You must understand King Raph is a vile creature. That must be stopped. I know many things about him, but not of where he stays now. I understand your quest is to save Mayor Tortley. But I can promise you that by helping this town, you will find your way. All paths align in the end. Do all paths go to GLaDOS? I feel like that's where this is going. <sighs> Captain Guggen will be a good place to start. Is Guggen the one who is fishing with his feet? Or she, sorry. She owns the fishing shop on the dock and she handles port shipments firsthand. Okay, so we gotta find the fisher person. I don't like that static sound. Oh, um, why is Tortley? I'll fix that. Just go around him, please. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to go up and talk to Tortley. Oh, wait, did you did you just touch him? Yes, I did. Does I have to be stubborn? Well, hello there, adventure. I thought I asked you not to. Yes, but I am stubborn and do not always listen to directions. It should be fine. Let's just get to the fishing shop. Because, besides, I think this is put here, like, purposefully, so I can be stubborn. 
touching Tortley Moore doesn't do anything. Okay. Bye. Bye, Tortley. Okay. This is why I told you not to go near him, Whitley. I don't understand why you did that. Because I'm stubborn and obstinate. Now something's broken and I have to fix it. Is that an eyeball? You could have just ignored him. I could have, but I chose not to. This is very hard to see through. I politely told you not to and you still did it. Friends don't do that. Did you think it would be funny? Did you want to hurt my feelings? I can't... I can't read that, GLaDOS. This is different music. Yeah, let's just go in here. Hi, Reginald the Wise. I hate this place. I hate it here. Hey, being alone? Good talk. Oh, now there's no hut. Oh, hey, black space. Oh. All I do is cause problems for others. Do I even matter? Hope I can make amends one day. This is all my fault. Oh, please take me back. I miss you. I hate it here. I'm so unhappy. Nobody wants me. So I'm in You are nothing bad happened at all you left because i yelled didn't you i'm gonna blame myself for what happened i guess i should apologize now i have to work harder to make this world for you because it's my fault <sighs> please just listen to me next time i promise i won't yell again if you listen wheatley and now the music's back now let's just get back to saving the town. I think we need to head to the fishing shop just south of here. I touched Tortley because it, it gave more of those moments, but it's also incredibly, oh, I need my kidney. Incredibly creepy. Who gets the kidney? Uh, Bean? What are your items? You have... Your special attack's cooldown is reset at the start of battle. Oh, that's right. What do you have? Damage. Oh, chance to negate half of damage when taken on hit. Oh, I like that too. What do I have? Oh, all the party members heal at the start of their turn. I like all of those items. I'll change beans. Special attack's cooldown. Okay. Bean, you're gonna get a kidney, and you're just gonna chill out with it, and you're not gonna give it to your children. Okay. Just gonna chill out with that kidney. Don't use it. Don't eat it. Just chill out with it. <sighs> this wasn't open before. This is closed. Patches. Well, we need an eye patch. How ironic. Well, isn't this a cozy little shop? Well, 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 look what the fish reeled in. I saw your speech on stage a bit ago. Mighty fine words you were speaking up there about GLaDOS. Yeah, GLaDOS was very passive aggressive. I promise I won't yell again if you listen. Give me genuine hope that we've all made it out of this alive or we'll all make it out of this alive. So, Reginald sent you, huh? This is like a code word. Well, since Mayor Kel just died, King Raff will try to take over everything. I'm guessing he's starting with the docks, seeing as my deckhand hasn't returned. Dar- Dar- Darled? Picks up our delivery there every morning and I'm starting to get worried. Would you go find him? Or I would go find him myself, but I can't simply leave the shop with it being so busy. Yes, very busy. So, to find King Raff, I should start with these, with those there docks. And if you could bring back Darled while you're at it, I'd be grateful. Good luck out there, adventure. Can I? Oh, I just wanted to take a peek at your paper. Don't forget to take a free eye patch. Can I fix your fish? The decoration seems to have fallen from the others. It sits broken and lonely on the floor. 
Sure hope it's not a representation of how GLaDOS feels. It's like, there's one left! You take it and put it on. I bet she quipped. Well, now I'm a pirate. I'm a... I'm a pirate therapist? We'll go with that. Thank you uh, for the comment about the hoodie, Michael. I think I got it before um, EA bought out... Uh... Bio, the whoever makes um, Mass Effect. And they were clearing out their shop before EA took them over. Hi again, friend. Would you look at that? You own an eye patch too. That's not a sign of a real pirate. I'm not sure what is. Well, anyways, you've earned my trust, friend. Come on through anytime you'd like. So, oh. Hi again, friend. Would you look at that? You own an eye patch. Uh, Yep, no, I didn't mean to talk to you. I just, I wanted to go through. Yep, okay, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I like how um, I'm the only one with an eye patch. Your eye patch snaps off your head and falls into the water. Well, that's rude. I was just commenting that Franz didn't have an eye patch, because, like, how would Franz see? But, uh,. I guess nobody really needs an eye patch. Eye patch unequipped. Oh, no wonder they were for free. Yeah. It's almost like it was just built for this right here. All right, Captain Chunk. We were trusting you and your crew with this. Many, many RAF hours went into creating these. Make sure you deliver them to the right people. I like this music. Aye, aye, Captain. Are you wearing a spatula on your arm? No, no, Captain Chunk, you are the captain. Yes, I am the captain. Okay, do you understand what we are asking? I just I just want to be sure. Uh-huh. Well, good enough for me. Head in the shipment, Joey. Okay, boss. Ah. That went well. Did you see the shipment? Yep. Uh, why? Shipment safe. Okay, well, that's enough dock time for me. Let's go back to the hideout and eat more grub, my best pal, Joey. It would be an honor. I sure am glad to have a pal like you, boss. Good luck, Captain Chunk. Don't let anyone get to that shipment. Aye, aye, Captain. I don't think that, that our, our friend Chunk here gets the concept of Captain and not Captain. <sighs> Is this Spy Fox? This feels like Spy Fox. We should find out what's in that shipment. Of course we should. That's exactly what we should do. Why is there a lever? Huh? You're not, you're not Raph. You're not pirate. I was. I was a pirate for a brief moment in time. You intruder. I protect shipment. <laughs> Crew must attack intruder. Crew must help protect shipment. Everybody zooms towards me. I didn't read anything you said. I got distracted. I blocked! Oh, I didn't know we were still doing this. Hmm. to heal. I'm gonna rest. <sighs> I don't have my unlimited bean mash. I have bean bash. Also, Francis' eye is slightly open in the picture at the top. I didn't realize that. This is nice music. Oh, shoot. Uh... I keep forgetting that I have to, like, do things. Ah. Uh... I wonder if I 
probably just block all of them at the same time. I think I need to rest again. I have very low health. Time to bully the pirates. Hi, Yama. Uh, I'm gonna rest. I need to rest. I need a break from doing therapy. I can't do therapy all the time. France seems very close to surrendering. They, um, they're all very close to surrendering. Bone, you're so strong. That's that's good. Um, Fran should also rest. Oh no. Ta. We at least had a joke, but no one laughed. They have created an awkward silence. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. The next turn will be skipped. Rude. Oh no. Uh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You should rest, Speed. And France can attack. You should go. You can never kill me. I aspire to be so much more. Oh, no. Uh. I made the sandwich all by myself. Oh, You've developed a positive attitude during these tough times. Why can't I develop a positive attitude? I develop an awkward silence. Because of bad jokes. Careful, they'll reflect damage for a couple turns. I am going to rest. And Bean is going to rest. And, and I guess France is going to rest. I don't want to attack. France's attack is like an AoE, and I don't want to get damage reflected back at me. Nah, I'll do it anyways. That attack was a bit fishy. Oh no. Does this sandwich make me cool yet? Oh no. Oh good. You're no longer feeling positive about the situation. Not not like you. Dunch is no longer feeling positive. I should, like, get some compliments to heal soon. Bean and I both need compliments. Otherwise, this is gonna be a very long battle. Oh no, I found my lost sandwich. Stop having positive attitudes. My strategy now is to hit all of the buttons all the time. What did he put in it? Ooh, this is a good question. Ham and cheese? Oh, this sounds really good. I'm hungry now. Careful, I reflect damage for a couple of turns. Uh, I'm gonna attack the kelp. Ooh. Yeah! Was that enough? I should probably get going. Thanks for the fun time! Oh, good. Good. Leave! And then everybody else can rest. Because damage will be reflected. No, stop making sandwiches! The sandwich makes me feel happy. Like a leftover turkey sandwich. Stop 
about being positive. Be negative. <laughs> Be neutral. My strategy with the sandwich is to block everybody at the same time. Let's have some therapy about this. Oh, maybe I pressed the wrong button. Uh. You're very blue now. Wait, yeah, I can. I, I'm a fish. I'm off to find some great friends. Thanks for the help. So ther therapy didn't work, but throwing children did. Should I have made that harder? No. Nope. I didn't think a whole lot about the balance of this game, come to think of it. The manorangs in the bug bloglands were a bit more challenging, weren't they? Wait, you're having fun, right? If I were to say no here, how disappointed would you be? Maybe I'm overthinking things. If you have seen any glitches or problems in the game, just know it's not my fault. I'm working as fast as I can. As long as you're still having fun, you won't leave me. I'll be sure to make the rest of this game amazing for us. Because GLaDOS isn't concerned about us leaving, so they're not, like, scrambling to do everything perfect in their mind, so that way we won't leave. That's not what's happening at all. But then the problem is, how can you make something perfect? And maybe people are allowed to leave and figure out what they like or don't like. Like, maybe that's okay. You won't. I wonder if the game will take away the quit option. Like, that would be just like GLaDOS, wouldn't it? Okay, can I give myself a compliment? Or I guess GLaDOS gives me a compliment. Would you like me to give you a compliment? Yes. I don't think I could ever find a friend as phenomenal as you. Well, now I'm very blue. <laughs> okay, I'm fully healed. So what about my friends? This is why I wanted to wait until I had low health. So now I can give... Oh, I only have three total compliments. <gasps> I'm screwed. Would you like to give Bean a compliment? Yes. What compliment would you like to give them? You throw your children really well. What a wonderful compliment. My kids and I are thankful. <laughs> cool. You know, let's let's compliment France while you're at while we're at it. Let's give France a compliment, sure. Would you like to give France a compliment? Yes. What compliment would you like to give them? The colors of your flag are really cool. <laughs> I never receive compliments. Or France. Thank you, Wheatley. Oh. France has to have some compliments that they receive. Huh, the docks are quite empty for how big they are. I wonder if Captain Junk's crew scared everyone away. <sighs> oh, we're going this way. Oh no. We gotta do like a dock puzzle. Oh no. Don't make me do this. The note reads Hey, Captain, I just installed all 10 emergency levers. Just like you asked, not sure how 10 levers will help in an emergency, but I'm sure you have your reasons. I also tightened some bolts in the decoy levers in case you forget. So flip everything right except for the decoys. Listen closely. Uh P.S. Throw this out after reading. You never know an unexpected hero might come through. Okay. Everything. Oh, so everything right except for the decoys? So are those loud ones the decoys? That sounds like a regular lever. Regular lever. No. There you go. Are you the lever? There we go. Maybe I should have added more levers. I can't tell. I can tell you really love levers. Really? Oh, where did. Oh, 
Hi, Milo. Excuse me, shell the bird. Do I want to press you? Yes? No? Oh. You, though. Okay. Now this puzzle is already making my artificial brain hurt. Well, I fucking hope it doesn't. Who even designed this? Oh, right, huh. You, uh, can't get lost in your own puzzle. Because if you get lost in your own puzzle, what are we going to do? Ugh. Haven't we been here before? Yeah, I've been here before. Do we need to get north? Where am I going? I have no idea where I'm supposed to be going. Oh, well, not here. learned how to fly. I like how they also become like invisible when you walk through them. Oh no. I'm going the same direction. This puzzle is making my non-artificial brain hurt. This puzzle is making my brain hurt. I think the hard part about this puzzle is that I'm only seeing it from one angle. So like I can't see the overhead view. I know I'm going in circles. Ugh. I think that if I can see an overhead angle it would be a lot more helpful. Did I make it through? Whoa, slow down there, Wheatley. You're taking things a bit too fast. I want to make sure you have time to enjoy all of the wonderful things I've made. You solved that puzzle rather quickly. Did I? <laughs> quickly, but I'd hope to be honest. This is all for you. So take a deep breath and enjoy the scenery. It's water. Look at the water. Ironically, it's so calming. I did a great job. Are you gonna make me go through a longer puzzle now? No, we're not gonna go through a longer puzzle. Well, wait, so you actually solved the lever puzzle? Well, we won't let you get to that shipment or that lever behind us. So let's help out Ch Captain Chunk, fellas. Oh, shit. Oh, what? Nope. Wheatley said a joke, but no one laughed. They created an awkward silence. I'm just trying to be funny, I guess. Your next turn will be skipped. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Did I skip that? Did I? <sighs> um, you, Gluggy, are you a drink? Is that a, is that like a tanker? I think it's a tanker. That's my conclusion. What am I doing? You. P? <laughs> w. Ooh, all seeing eye. Yes. Q. Q. J. D oh, that's the wrong letter. Hmm. There's nothing to my bendy bones. No. Oof. You need to get better at blocking. But I do love this music. It's very catchy. Okay. Oh. Oh? Too much apple juice. Yes, because that's what we put in tankers. Apple juice. Hi. Ha, are you even trying? I really hope they're trying. Oh no. I don't think I'm helping my friends out very much. Okay. 
I don't think my thing. I don't think I'm helping my friends out very much. F. As long as we have enough friendship. I don't know if we have enough friendship at this point. B. D. Okay. No more stealing goods and treasure. I'm stealing hearts now. Very persona. That actually hurt me a bit. Only physically though, I'm feeling great mentally. Uh. I would love a heal. You know what? I don't think the pirate life is for me. Thank you for helping me realize that, friend. Just flip that lever behind me once you're done. It'll help you across. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? Was it? <laughs> Hopefully not stealing hearts literally. I mean, we already have a kidney. I thought it was fun. Okay, let's go flip that lever. What's gonna happen when you flip the lever? Cause there's, it's, we're at a dead end here. Do we have to go back? Oh my God, GLaDOS. Whoa, I think you did something. GLaDOS. Well, I think that we have failed to remove the package with the Tortley quest. Jeez. Every time something like that happens, I'm not expecting it, and it makes me jump. Oh, there's something up to the right. It wasn't here. I think it was further down? I got distracted by whatever was happening, and I then lost track of what I was actually supposed to be doing. Over here. Oh, jeez. Oh, going into another battle. Oh, wait, you're already here? Why are you playing through the game so fast? I don't think I am. Look, I'm just working hard to make this game for you. I feel very sloppy and stressed right now. I don't know what to say about that. Like, I don't, like, we can't control other people's feelings. I've got a million things going on in my head and you're taking things too quickly for me to keep up with. On the bright side, there was a bug I had to take care of that has been breaking our game. It shouldn't be a problem anymore. Just take your next fight slowly. It should be a tough one. I haven't tested it much, to be honest. You're going to do great, Wheatley. Good luck. What bug? You didn't take care of Milo, did you? Did GLaDOS take care of Milo? Where's Bird Dog? No! I like Milo. Please, sir, I'm just here for the fish. I'm here for the bird dog. No, you here for shipment? I protect shipment. Did you eat bird dog? <sighs> you, where did you come from? You will not get shipment. I protect shipment. Why does everybody run so fast? <sighs> protect shipment. <gasps> Oh my gosh. I was not expecting like vomit to be thrown at me so violently. <sighs> F. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? This feels like this is gonna take a while. Wow, I'm, I'm sorry I didn't successfully throw your children. You look yummy. Oh, I want to eat. No, let's not. Uh, oh, oh. Oh, I've selected the wrong one. I want to do the other one. Oh well. Take the rafts promised me cookies. I love cookies. Me too. You look like cookie. No, I don't. I just love cookies. 
Maybe this like you are what you eat. Oh. You cannot hurt me. Only I can hurt me. Oh, oh, oh shit. Love tap. Oh. Yeah, I kicked you for 17, and that's love. Although Raph say mean things and sometimes hurt me. That's not actually love. Although that might be Gladys' version of love. You're gonna rest. And you're gonna rest. Please stop. RP. Let's talk about it. <laughs> oh, R. T. I just want to go on adventure. Graph say no adventure. That's sad, buddy. Why can't you go on adventure too? You can escape to cancel out if you select the wrong one. Thank you so much. Oh no. I am button mashing all the buttons for the block and I will own that. A. Ugh. U and O M. You seem like good adventure. That must be fun. When am I ever gonna heal? Besides like the compliments that I've already used. <laughs> S. Oh no, oh. You ate yourself and then spit. Spit it back out like you're a nugget. Wheatley is really stinky and nobody wants to be near them. Look, I've showered, okay? I, I practice self hygiene. Just because someone yeeted a nugget at me like that does not mean that I'm stinky. And I just wanna put that out there. Hello, Fictos? They will take damage when healed for a few turns. Damn it. France is really, oh, why are we all stinky? Oh, friends, like all y'all really need to heal. Friends is not doing good. <laughs> Which always sounds bad. It sounds like I'm talking about the country. I'm not. Uh. You're so blue. You just need, just need to like get tapped in just a little bit. I think you need to rest, and I hope that doesn't hurt you too much. Oh no, I lost a friend. This is not going well. That's it, I don't wanna fight no more. I just wanna go on an adventure with friends. I, just like you, thank you for being nice to me. I hit you a lot. Here, take these presents. I'm going home. What about the, the person? Oh, France is still here. Oh boy, that was a nightmare. I know, I like lost a friend in the process. Not France. Yeah, I kinda lost France. I don't think I'm ever going to sleep again. Thanks for saving me though, stranger. I may be scarred for life, but at least I had a fun time doing it. Guggen sent you, oh no, she will not be happy. Well, I need to get back. I guess I'll see you there. <sighs> you saved deckhand, Daryl? I bet Captain Guggen is going to be so happy. Let's get back to the fishing shop. I am not healthy at all right now. I need like some hot cocoa 
and some pizza. And remember which button I used for that. <sighs> oh, you know what else sounds good? Enchiladas. <gasps> Mama, what? But I thought I... Ugh, never mind. Let's get back to the fishing shop. Puppy, you pet shell the bird. <laughs> Will you let you pass though? Oh yeah, I don't have my eye patch anymore. I'm sure GLaDOS will have a solution for this. Oh, nope, we're still friends. I have your kidney and I'm kind of gonna, I'm gonna keep holding onto it. Oh, you're both very blue. Hey, Captain, I'm back. Dar Darled, you're alive, you crazy son of a fishmonger. Glad to be back, Ma. I mean, Captain. Captain Ma, let her safe, Darold. It would be. Were you able to grab the shipment? Yes, ma'am. Here she is. Here, hand it on over. Wait a second. This isn't fish. Looks like this is a box of wanted posters. Where are the fish, Darold? I'm sorry, Ma. It was the only shipment I could find. Mm, well, that's odd. Wanted dead or alive. Numbly bounty 20 bucks. That's it. 20 bucks. <sighs> Please deliver Numbly to King Raph. They know too much. Who's Numbly? Numbly? Wait. I just remembered something because GLaDOS just put it in. While I was hiding behind some crates, I overheard that Numbly is being held in the mayor's basement. I don't trust basements anymore. After a photo was put in my pocket, which sounds fine until it's not <sighs> apparently they were arrested by the mayor a few days ago for being a traitor they were secretly working for the rafts or something oh uh, well would you look at that maybe go track him down wheelie the mayor's house is the big mansion to the right of the stage area oh uh, okay well anyways thanks again friend come back anytime they seem so happy to be reunited hmm that's that's it? Okay. So it looks like we need to head to Mayor Kel's house. It should be off to the right of the destroyed stage. Poor Mayor Kel. I don't think GLaDOS regrets this at all. I tried to compliment, or I did the compliments and now I'm out of compliments. I did all the compliments. People don't want any more compliments from me. I guess they just weren't trying hard enough. There are no more compliments to give, is what I say. And then Gladys is like, maybe we're just we're trying hard enough. Have you tried some more compliments? Thanks, GLaDOS. You are refreshing as ever, GLaDOS. <laughs> oh, so the stage is off to the left, right? And then the house, I'm oh, this is the house. This is where L Ellen was, right? Ah, yes, you. You're Kel's lover. Ella. My bad, Ella. How did you get in here? Please don't tell me you're with the rafts. No, you can't be. You look too kind and courteous. I can see it in your eyes, your beautiful eyes. Your teeth, on the other hand, seem to be missing. What the fuck? I have teeth. They're... I have teeth. Charming either way, but you should leave. I can't waste any time now that my lover, Mayor Kel, is dead. Like... Ella's like rubbing that in. I just bopped my water bottle. Ella's like, you remember who my lover was, right? In case you in case you forgot, it's Mayor Kel. Oh goodness, what a mess. King Raph is going to kill us all. I need to stop him. But I can't get that traitor get to that traitor we have locked up downstairs. Numbly is their name. They used to work for King Raph, so they might have some information to where he might be hiding. Which is probably why those bounty hunters barged in a bit ago. Couldn't you have mentioned that, like? A few sentences back. They pushed right past me and demanded that I unlocked the basement door. I think Numbly knows something. You think? That's why we had them locked up in the first place. But they wouldn't talk. I'm sure those skulk characters are here to kill Numbly to keep them from talking to anyone. Wow, your eyes really are quite stunning. May I touch them? No! No! You don't go up to someone and say, May I touch your eyeballs? No! That's not socially appropriate, Ella. <sighs> there I go, getting distracted again, silly little Ella. <sighs> Please move fast if you're going to help, cutie. Don't 
Please don't call me that. That's also not socially appropriate. Just a warning, the, the skulk will not be happy to see you. I'm sure they won't be. That door behind me will take you to them. Thank you and your magnificent eyes, stranger. Fantastic. Thank you, Ella. I think. Oh my gosh, it is like Spy Fox. Hurry up. It's been hours what's taking so long. That key we stole off Ella just isn't working. Look, I know that she gets transfixed by people's appearance, but like, you don't have to steal off of them. No matter how much I pull, the door just won't budge. This painting is beautiful, just beautiful. You're a lot like Ella. Two of clubs, are you stealing and playing cards at the same time? Nope, go fish. That, I don't think that's how you play go fish. We've got to get Numbly now. More people will be after him soon enough. Have you guys ever seen a painting so beautiful? They are very easily distracted. Seriously, take a look at this. Hey, it looks like we have company. Do you want to come in? Have a cup of tea, some biscuits. Huh? Our biscotti. Oh, biscotti sounds good. Well, we were here first, pal. Wait, isn't that Wheatley? The Wheatley. The famous adventure. There's an even larger price on their head. Oh, great. Really? Well, isn't that just convenient? Forget about Numbly, boys. We've got a new target. Please be... <gasps> oh my gosh, this is fantastic. Oh, you're attacking. I didn't see any of that. How is Francis health better than everybody else's when France was like, we're not friends anymore. And then France left the battle. I'm sure that could be a meme for something. Therapy or love tap. Well, we're just, oh, you're a group. You're, you're a group of snapping foxes. Okay, this is what we're doing. Oh, also I should like heal. I should. All of us should heal. France, you will attack because I guess someone has to. Oh, sh shoot. Oh. That... That wasn't as bad as I was expecting. Well, then I'll just use this opportunity to keep resting, shall we? You really need to rest. You can attack, France. D. France can attack. Oh, is this like a chance to heal? This feels like a chance to heal because they attack for like two damage, but my heal is more than that. They don't snap in time with the music, do they? I didn't even realize that until you said that. Cause yeah, that would be better, wouldn't it? I'm just gonna heal everybody up and slowly attack. Ah. Well, I guess I'll attack with you now. Excuse me, with me. That was, I'm gonna attack with me. I could use some backup. Oh no. Well, now there's two of you. I bet you cheated, go fish. Rude, I do not. You can heal. You can heal. <laughs> The Skulk is feeling some good vibes right now. They will heal for a few turns. Damn it. This is some really awesome music. I guess I should actually attack now. Or heal. Oh, I keep forgetting. I just see them snapping and I keep forgetting they're actually like attacking. I bet GLaDOS is super self-conscious about the snapping now. <laughs> GLaDOS is like secretly listening and being like, you don't, you don't like this? You don't, you're not having fun? How can I improve this to make this more fun? I don't understand, I'm trying so hard. That I feel like would be GLaDOS right now. Ow. 
are you not picking up good vibrations anymore, my little scroll, scroll, skulk? Whatever, friend. My little fox friend. Oh my gosh, this music is so cool. He'll never defeat my family. We're the best bounty hunters around these parts. You'll never be as pretty as that painting. <sighs> I don't know, have you talked to Ella? I mean, Ella thinks I got real nice eyes. She wants to touch my eyes. <laughs> These pretty eyeballs. Oh, please don't, please don't hurt me, please. Oh, I blocked something. Yeah, you're no longer picking up good vibrations. Uh, they are, they have hardly taken any damage, which makes me a little nervous. Z M. You probably can't even snap your fingers like we can. That's embarrassing. It'll rule this basement and all of its cobwebs too. I don't think that's something to like brag about. Oh no. Oh, I can do the love tap. I should heal soon. Uh, all the Fs. Oh, no, 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 no. I need you to heal. Sorry, I got distracted by all the attacking. You need to heal. Let's see. You know, that kind of hurt. That's the point. I'm not sure I want to keep fighting. Compared to us, you're nothing but a simple-minded peasant. That's harsh. If you could stop attacking France, that would be fantastic. France has already decided once, I don't want to be friends with Wheatley. Um, I don't want that to happen again. Oh, now they're starting to turn blue. Finally. Bean. Mash. Bash. Whatever. Oh, I'm sorry. I dropped your child. Okay, we get it. You can fight. Can you just, like, die, though? You can even fake it if you want. That's... Whenever I think about, like, faking deaths, I think of that scene where the actor who plays Pee-wee from Pee-wee's Playhouse plays the death scene in the Buffy movie, where it's like, ugh, 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 ugh. That's what I think of with faking your death. Because the best death scene in any movie ever, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Oh, please stop hurting me. France and I are still friends, but all of us need to heal. I'm gonna rest. And Bean is gonna rest, and France is going to attack. Ouch, that really hurt. Please don't hurt my family. No. Okay, not awful. So... I'm gonna attack this time. And then everybody else can rest. Oh. Would have never gotten along, so I thought bounty hunting would be fun. I guess friendship is all I really wanted. Thanks for helping me realize that. Even all of the battles are about like how GLaDOS wants us to see her. It's all about like this idea of friendship. I can't believe these idiots thought this was a pull door. Numbly is 31. Okay. Hey, I think that might be Numbly. Let's go talk to them. No wonder they're using they, them pronouns. Like. Wow, you really did a number on the skulk. Who sent you? How did you find me? Wait, you look familiar. Have we met before? Have we? 
no, I don't think I've met the number 31. Didn't think so, but just had to make sure. I'm not sure why you're here, but thanks for freeing me. Although that look on your face does make me think you need my help. King Raph, I know him all too well. I used to work for the guy. He's pretty awful. He needed me for my magnificent number recollection abilities. Well, somebody needs to remember numbers because I'm terrible at it. I can remember any number related fact, which is pretty cool, right? Here, watch. Name any character you've met so far and I will tell you more about them. Um. Any character? Cal. Sorry, I don't think I've met them yet. You haven't met Kel. Ke You're in Kel's basement, which sounds weird when I say it that way. You are actually locked in Kel's basement and you don't, you don't know, you haven't met Kel. That's weird. That's weird. Try someone else. Mayor Kel. How is this possible? Ugh. You've met me? Wheatley's birthday is October 31st. Pretty cool, right? I've met a lot of people and I remember them all, but you don't know Cal. That's so weird. How could... I, if I was locked in someone's basement, which is a weird sentence to say out loud, I would sure as shit hope that I had met them first. Just just saying. Or during. And it, it, that's a weird sentence. Anyways, I think I can help you get to King Raph. You might be the one to actually defeat him. Your aura is so humble, yet threatening. I love it. Better you than that Ella crybaby upstairs. Can you believe she tried to kiss me once? Yes, I can. I can believe that. Gross. <laughs> King Raph's hideout is northeast of here. That dumb Raph never changes his passcode for his hideout. You better remember this number. Oh shit, I'm gonna forget this number. Someone remember this number. I will forget. I will forget this. 3561. 3561. 3561. Good luck! I'm gonna forget that number. Three, five, six, one. Cool. I'm not gonna forget that. It's on my hand. You tried pulling the door open. Wasn't it a push door with all of your strength? It must be locked. We just, we just learned about this. Oh no. Hey Wheatley, hold on a minute. No. I've been wanting to ask you something that has been eating away at me. Oh no. Am I doing a good job? How do you answer something like that? Like this is a terrible question to answer. Because either I say yes, and like, I, I don't I don't know, like I feed into this, or I say no, I, there's no good answer for this. I understand that there have been a lot of ups and downs, but I just need to know if you're still enjoying our game. Maybe I'm being too hard on myself, but the skulk didn't seem, didn't feel very fleshed out. <gasps> GLaDOS heard us when we talked about the snapping, and I don't know how I feel about that. I just sort of threw them in. I had this whole plot planned with Numbly and all these extra characters lying around. Um, but getting the pieces to fit can be very hard sometimes. I'm trying my best to satisfy you, Ugh, but maybe I'm not good enough. That sentence sounds weird. There's a lot of hard work going into this. Is it paying off? Don't make me... No. I don't know how badly this is going to go, but I'm going to push this boundary. Oh, is that the first frowny face? Oh, I see. Oh, this is going to go. This is going to. This is shit hitting a fan. Well, just so you know, I'm trying my best. You know what? Let's just forget I asked. I don't think this. This is going to go well. That's, that's it? That's, that's it? Nope. 
It's almost like my actions have consequences. Oh, hmm. You can ignore that, can I? Just go out the door. You listened, good, oh. They might have completely ruined our game, so I'm glad that you left. I didn't think it would actually let me, otherwise I should have been obstinate. Just make sure you keep listening to me, I always know it's best for our friendship. It's what I was made for. If you see anything else that feels out of the ordinary, you will not interact with it, okay? If you break anything, all of this will be ruined. All of this work that I'm putting into our friendship will have just been for nothing. Not only will you be breaking the game, but you'll be breaking me too. That's a sentence. We can't have that. I won't let that happen. Now then, on to finding the raft hideout. It's not too far away. Okay, it might be. I probably should have made things a little bit closer to one another. But don't lose interest yet. I promise I'll, it'll get a lot more fun. Big numbly set the password to 3561 in case you forgot. Oh, I can't go back. I wanted to break the game. GLaDOS, can can we break the game? Damn it. I wanted to break the game. <sighs> I do think I have to stop here for today, though. Was it escape? It was for friendship. But now GLaDOS is... Mm. Oops. I like how GLaDOS is like, are you sure you want to quit? No. I'm sorry. What? Just messing with you, Wheatley. You can leave any time. I don't know how much I believe you. Just know I will miss you so much. Bye! GLaDOS is like... extra. Oh my gosh. I really hope GLaDOS reminds me of this number. I have to write it down somewhere else. I need sticky notes. <sighs> Yeah, GLaDOS is like, you wouldn't leave me, would you? I honestly thought she wasn't going to let me exit the game. GLaDOS, I can just Alt F4. Or like, tab out. You can't control my entire computer. There's no way she could do that. Oh my gosh. I do have to stop here, though, because like, I need food after talking about food for so long. <laughs> Uh, but I will be playing in tomorrow, so we can play more of it tomorrow. Oh, I'm really upset I missed that hallway. Son of a... I, like, forgot for a moment to be stubborn, which is weird. And I listened to directions, which is weird. <laughs> But I'm planning on streaming again tomorrow, so we can play more of it then. I'm sure there will be more opportunities to not listen to GLaDOS. Oh yeah, what if I did just like all F4 instead of leaving? I think that's how it saves though. I guess that's... That was my thought, is that that's how it saved? I don't think it gives you like a save icon to see when it normally saves. Otherwise, that might just be an interesting test. I don't know. Suppose we could always experiment and find out. But at that point, it would just instantly close the game. There wouldn't be a chance for GLaDOS to, like, say anything. I don't know. It is easier if you just listen to your best friend. Yeah, but then you don't see as much fun stuff. Then it's boring. It's boring to just listen to your best friend. It's more interesting if you ignore them and do what you want instead. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible. Oh, that sounds awful. <laughs> but it's been so much fun. I'm, I'm really glad that, like the computer cooperated enough to stream today. 
So it'll be fun to come back tomorrow and play more of it. I have no idea how much longer the game is, but it'll be so much fun to either way, play some more again tomorrow. For now though, I think I'm gonna stop here so I can eat some food and dessert. And I'll see, I'll see you guys tomorrow.